action. Hey everyone, Zach Harold here with <clears throat> Archery Maniacs. And today we are going to review the Bowtech Rain 6. Uh, just got this bow about two months ago. And so far I really like it. It definitely is a smart bow. There is a ton of technology into the cam system. Obviously the binary cam system that Bowtech is famous for. But they incorporated a flip disc technology, which is really cool because you can change your draw cycle with the simple flip of the disc. Um, obviously the bow goes from 24 to 30 inches. Uh, it's 32 and 5 eighths axle to axle. IBO is 350 feet per second, six inch brace height and 4.3 pounds, 50 to 70 pound draw weights, uh, which bothers me. I like 80 pound bows, so I don't really like that it can't go to 80 pounds, but whatever, super, super smooth draw cycle. Um, another thing that's really neat about this cam system is the micro sync technology right there so basically it's an oblong uh cir it's a it's a circle with a bolt on one side of it so that you're able to micro tune uh your cam timing timing and everything like that which is super beneficial for anyone really um it's also going to allow you to have a little bit more pressure uh on top or bottom cam depending on how you shoot yourself um when i first got the bow itself it had wood grips uh and the wood grips were already starting to come off so i didn't like that because they que they squeaked and cracked and all that kind of stuff so i took the wood grips off and i just put uh athletic tape around it uh, and I really like the skinny grip feel <clears throat> in the palm of my hand. Uh, also with the bow itself, uh, much like their target bows, it has a spot down here next to the bottom cam for putting, whether it's their small counterweight that comes with it, a back stabilizer, whatever you're wanting to put on it, uh, you can put there. Uh, I also like the, the extra mounting holes that they have for uh, putting your sight on uh, depending on you know what your draw weight is and everything like that it allows you to move that sight closer and farther from your rest which is beneficial um, Bowtech actually came out with uh, their string now has what is it three more strands like three more strands to it and that makes it a little bit bigger string obviously which there then makes your knocks fit a little bit tighter so that might be something that you want to uh kind of keep an eye on um, obviously it has the string stop they switch to a carbon rod completely um, and it seems to work great i mean there's zero hand shock <clears throat> with this bow uh, the bow feels extremely smooth to draw and i have i have it on the performance side so the performance side is i believe 10 roughly 10 feet per second more than the comfort side uh so it changes your draw force curb which is then getting more out of your cams and out of your limbs um but it's super super smooth on the performance side uh obviously you can adjust it in half pound increments um so yeah the bow is just it's super nice super well balanced uh one other thing that i really really love about Botex is the cpx design so basically if you look at the bow the grip is where your hand fits is one of the farthest points out on the bow itself beside the limb pockets and that allows a lot of hand torque to be removed out of your bow when you're shooting which is great because anyone that shoots knows that hand torque is a huge enemy of left and right misses um, on a scale of one to ten is the bow tough yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's as tough as a Bowtech is. I've never had any Bowtech limb issues as far as I've heard. They've started fixing those and ironing those out. Um, so, I mean, it's as tough as any other bow on the market, you know? So maybe an eight. Um, 
do you get what you pay for? You know, every bow brand is starting to raise the prices on their bow. I think with the amount of technology, the binary cam system, the micro sync, the flip disc technology, the CPX, I think you absolutely 100% get what you pay for in the Bowtech rain. Um, and I would definitely recommend it to a friend. Uh, the only two things that I would change about the bow itself is that it could go to 80 pounds and it not be 4.3 pounds. That to me is, is a little on the heavy side for a bow only, because once you put all your other crap on there, your bow's a lot heavier than, than it could be. You know, if you started on, I don't know, maybe you're only looking at a half pound, but when you walk 10 miles, a half pound's a lot of weight. So anyways, that is the Bowtech Rain 6. Thanks for tuning in, guys.